Hey guys, I'm Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in this video, we are going to see one of the most popular service in Google Cloud platform called Kubernetes Engine, Google Kubernetes Engine. So this particular service, this is not popular only in Google Cloud platform. It is popular in other cloud platforms as well as in on-premises also. So in uh, AWS, we call it as Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service, that is EKS. And in Azure, we call it as Azure Kubernetes Service, that is AKS. So this particular service, it is widely used and it is widely used in not only in cloud platforms, even in on-premise also, this particular service is widely used because of the power of containerization. And in inside containerization, it uses other topics like it uses uh, Docker as its containerizer or even uh, from Apache, we call it as Apache Mesos. So we are not going into that detail in this video. We are just going to see how to create a um, Kubernetes engine in Google Cloud Platform. So I have given few descriptions as well about Kubernetes engine. In upcoming videos, we will see more about it. So Google Kubernetes engine provides a managed environment for deploying, managing and scaling your containerized application use, using Google infrastructure. So the Kubernetes engine environment consists of multiple machines. So basically Kubernetes engine is nothing but a collection of or a group of clusters, group of machines, group of machines forms one single cluster, group of machines in the sense like group of virtual machines, compute engine instance. So Google Kubernetes engine are powered by Kubernetes. So Kubernetes is again an open source cluster management system. It was developed by and it is an open source and it is an developed by Google itself. So uh, Google has been using this particular power of Kubernetes for more than 10 plus years now. So all the platforms, all the services in Google, it is uh, containerized and it is deployed with the help of this particular service called Kubernetes. So this is the most widely and preferable by most of the companies, most of the use cases, they prefer Kubernetes for an or containerized deployment. So Kubernetes provides a mechanism through which you can interact with uh, cluster creation or cl contain clusters like you can auto scale load, all those things, right? you can do it using uh, Kubernetes CLI that is kubectl. So in this particular demo, we will be using that kubectl lab as well, kubectl command as well. So Kubernetes, it uh, works on, it has more many advantages like automatic management, it can auto manage the clusters, it can auto manage the worker node, master node, all those things it can auto, auto manage. So there are concepts like pods, nodes, master node, worker node. So there are un uh, containerization. So in this we will be using Docker as well. So monitoring and liveness props for application containers, automatic scaling. So if the load is huge, it can auto scale. If the load is less, it can de degrade to limited clusters also. And it can roll to latest update or to the previous versions also. It can roll that, uh, that feature is also available in uh, Google Kubernetes engine. And it supports the load balancing, node pools, automatic scaling, automatic upgrades, node auto repairs, logging and monitoring. These are some of the cool features provided by Google Cloud Platform. Google Cloud Platform and by Google Kubernetes Engine as well. So now we will go into our uh, Google Cloud Console. So this is my Google Cloud Console. I am inside this my Google Cloud Console. So I'll search for Kubernetes Engine. So for this demo, I have already created a cluster called Lab Cluster. So it took me around five to six minutes for creating this cluster. By default, I have given the command here you can go and you can take a look at the uh, cluster command. So it is very simple. Uh, we are not going into much detail. So we are just creating gcloud container clusters. Create what is the machine type and what is the zone. So zone and the name of the cluster, lab, lab iPhone cluster. So I'm just configuring this zone, default zone and default zone. And I'm using that default zone and the region for creating the cluster. So if you see this is the cluster it took me around five to six minutes to create the cluster and you can find the basic details so what is the name what is the location type what is the control plane zone default node zone so release channel version total size so totally we have three cluster one is one master and two worker node what is the endpoint and uh, endpoint is basically external ip address so you can use this external ip address to host so in this demo we will host a simple 
uh, allow world application in uh, Google Kubernetes engine using kubectl commands. So maintenance window, all those things, everything you can find it here. That networking related details, security related details, metadata, features. So this is just a basic, um, a sm small video. And in upcoming video, I'll show you what is, uh, we will go in depth of understanding these parameters. What is this nodes? What are the pods? What like, what is the default pool? Like what are the nodes? What is node pools? What is nodes storage? All those things we will be seeing in upcoming sessions. So observatory logs, even you can get all the logs as well. So now we are into this cloud shell. And as I said, I have already created the cluster. I have already created the cluster and now I'll be using this kubectl command. So kubectl command, create deployment, hello server, all those things. You can see it here. I'll just copy this. Before that, I will get the credentials for this particular cluster, lab cluster, G Cloud container clusters, get credentials. And we will we are into this Kubernetes cluster now, Cloud Shell. So just copy this command and execute there. Kubectl, create deployment, hello server, image and respective image. Your error failed to create deployment, hello server already exists. Okay, we'll just modify this to allow server one. That's oh, all, sorry, sorry, like not underscore. Yeah, we have created allow server GCP and we will re re rename it the others allow server GCP and where, wherever the allow server are okay so we have created the deployment and here you can see what is the image specify a container image to deploy so this kubernetes we will break like kubectl create deployment we are going to create a deployment and the deployment name is allow server hyphen gcp what is the image version so image specifies a container image to deploy so which image we are going to like whether it is docker or apache miso so in this demo we are using docker image and we are referring to this repo repo and uh, all those things the command pulls the example image from a container registry bucket so gcs bucket and we are mentioning the version 1.0 if the version is not mentioned it will take the latest one and we will just expose deployment in the port number 8080 and the type load balancer so kubectl exposed deployment so service allow server gcp has been exposed here you can see port specifies the port that the container exposes and the type is load balancer creates a compute engine load balancer for your container so this load balancer so the next thing is we are going to get the service so what is a service all those details we will be seeing here so kubectl get service and this is the service which you are going to refer allow g server gcp the load balancer cluster ip address external ip it is still pending and what is the age so what is the age in the sense like how many like how, how many seconds it took to create or execute uh, create that allow server gcp so still external ip is not being generated so i'm executing it again now you can see external ip has been generated so take this external ip and replace this with this external ip and copy this and you will be able to see this so you will be able to see hello world version 1.0.0 and host name is hello server gcp and respective this if you refresh this if you even if you refresh them it will be same thing only finally we will delete the cluster g cloud container cluster delete and the name of the cluster and if it prompts yes you have to give yes to it that's it and the cluster will be in the deleting stage now and so here you can see the cluster is being deleted so that's it for this video i hope you learned how to create a kubernetes cluster and in upcoming videos i'll make more contents on kubernetes services and kubernetes google kubernetes engine as well so what is nodes what is node pools we will talk more in depth about those this is just an introductory video on kubernetes how to create kubernetes from using gcli commands so if you have any questions or comments, please post that in the comment section and uh, please do like, 
comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll meet you in the next video with more interesting contents on google cloud platform and even in other cloud platforms as well yeah i am trying to prepare like i'm trying to post videos on other cloud platforms as well which you will get soon in this particular uh, uh, channel uh, channel so until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning